Hi, everybody. Welcome to the two-hour track challenge. This is take two. I tried yesterday, and literally everything exploded. So I'm hoping today goes better. Um. So yeah, uh, the the email the the emotes finally came through, or were approved. So we've got new emotes. We have remember to save. We've got the Ben Ross still, and we added Soapy, which is the huge meme on our <laughs> Discord. Um, I can't remember if I'm more rested or not, to be honest. Um, uh, the past 24 hours has been kind of a mess. I'm hoping that things work better today. So we can just get started, really. Um, I've been listening to a lot of dub tech lately, and I want to try that. Um, I don't really know how I'm going to go about it, but, you know, that's how this thing normally goes. Let's get going. How much you hate technology? No, I love technology. Dub tech is usually, it's like ambient uh, house music at 130 BPM. It's it's kind of wild. I love dub tech. Um, that's what the Color Jumper soundtrack is, uh, primarily. <clears throat> so... I also made the decision to slam a coffee at 6 p.m. Um, I have a feeling I'm going to regret that in like four hours. Um, but in the meantime, I really need the energy. Um, allergies have been a real pain in the ass for me. I'm going to open the window a little. Technicolor jumper. Yeah, instead of four colors, there's like 20. Okay, uh, let's select some samples and get going. Um, so primarily with these, the, the drum kits are pretty like, uh, drum machine based and often not like crazy. So I'm just going to go back to my trusty 808s and then we can go from there. Um, but I just want, I want the kind of kick that's just kind of like a snap because usually, um, what happens with dub tech is that we have, uh, a bass line that mirrors that kick. The waypoint stream for this. Um, yeah, Fen, I know I'm I know I'm streaming later than usual and I apologize for that, but uh, there's not a whole lot I could have done. I'm also using a new keyboard. Like listen to this thing when I type. It's kind of loud. I'm getting used to it still. Um, I don't know. I guess a mechanical keyboard is any kind of keyboard that has a key that like has a trigger on it. I was thinking the mechanical keyboard that sounds like you're shaking a coffee can full of teeth. Um, and those are, those are not what I want to use. I, I like, <laughs> I like uh, keyboards that don't sound like like crazy sounds. Sorry, my words, my words, guides. It's gonna it's gonna be one of those streams. I'm 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 like still kind of waking up. I took a little bit of a nap and then I slammed a bunch of coffee, and now I'm here. So I apologize if things are weird. Um, so as far as the uh, bass sounds on this, oh my god, this keyboard's gonna take some getting used to though. Um, it's gonna. Oops. Yeah, something like this. Oh man, my keyboard search cuts are all messed up. <laughs> I gotta get used to this again. Um, anyway, guys, I hope you're doing well. Control tab. 
There we go. I'm hitting I'm hitting Alt Tab instead of Control Tab on this keyboard, or Shift Tab. Sorry, I got to get used to it. Uh, it'll get there. That's too low. Okay, the other thing that we need in this is some sweet swang. Um, I'm sorry if, <laughs> if I'm incredibly weird today. I You don't know how stressed out I've been about this computer. Um, what happened to chimes? Oh, yeah, I got to get those too. I actually haven't installed them in my sample library yet. Um, Uh, da -da -da -da. Now I've been listening to dub tech. That doesn't mean that I can't make like dub tech is super chill. It's just, uh, um, it's at a fast BPM and, uh, it's, it's its own little monster. Um, and I don't know. Yeah, I'm getting there. Dude, I've been working on this for four minutes. <laughs> Sub wieners. <laughs> um, yeah, I, uh, no, I appreciate that. I, I, uh, I'm just like, I've been doing this for like literally five minutes and you're like, you're messing this Ben. Oh my God. Like, why are you even trying to make music if you can't even put a layer of noise in this in, I don't know. Oh my God. Guys, I totally forgot about Lumpy Space Princess. Oh, that shell is so, so good. It's not bubblegum space princess, you lump. Ugh. I'm a buff baby who can dance like a man. I can shake on my fanny. I can shake a mic on. I'm a tough tootin' baby. I'll punch all your buns. Or is it I can punch all your buns? Oh man, it's been so long. <laughs> Goofy pudding with a straw. <laughs> See, it's already sound to sound like dub tech. Um, so we can get some tape noise. What I should really do is I should go and just record uh, a bunch of tape noise. Oof, no. I'm a buff. Baby, who can dance like a man? I can shake on my fanny. I can shake on my can. I'm a tough tootin' baby, and I'll punch all your buns. God, I can't remember it. Punch all your buns. If you're an evil witch, I will punch you for fun. Yeah, that would actually be a lot of fun, Em. I got that stuck in my head now. Oh, man. Um, so I'm actually going to EQ out any low rumble that might be in this, and then I'm going to work on a side chain here. Dram rack. Kick.
Okay, so. See, I mean, this is already like 80% of the way there. Um, <clears throat> There's your noise, conic. Is that like sonic? So what's with that Sonic trailer, guys? Let's be relevant on the internet today. <laughs> so the one blah, blah, the one thing that I noticed about Dubtech is that usually there's like some really long and obscure um like delay chains. So we're just going to go with that. Uh, we don't want to re-trigger. We want this to go slower. Hello, Madam Barry. How are you? And then the most difficult part of this is making it just loop and not doing a bunch of stuff to it. Um, I'm doing okay, Madam Barry. Now that my knock on whatever might be wood around here, my computer is acting a little less shitty. Um, uh, yesterday, for those who aren't familiar, um, I uh, tried to stream and my computer my CPU was running at um, 95 degrees Fahrenheit, or not Fahrenheit, 95 remember degrees. To save. Remember to save. Remember to save everybody. 95 degrees Celsius, which um, in computer terms is very bad. Uh, <laughs> so uh, four hours of troubleshooting later, I fixed that problem. And last night, it still crashed. Um, so I'm like, yeah, it's it was real bad. Um, but last night, it still crashed. So I don't know I'm kind of just playing it by ear at this point yeah okay so let's get another let's Actually, one thing I was thinking with uh, with Dubtech, I was thinking about actually bringing in um, some brushed drums so I could get uh, some more of that uh, sweet noise. A sweet noise. If I can remember what letter uh, brushed starts with. Oh, wait, it's not in this pack. It's in drum kit packs. Yeah. Yeah, stuff like this. Um, except not like that. Um, oh, God. I haven't fed Tux in 20 minutes, and now he's going to whine for the next two hours. So buckle up, guys. I love Tux so much, but it really drives me crazy. Like yesterday when I was trying to fix the computer, um, I fed him and he was fine, but then he realized he wasn't currently eating. So he stood next to me and screamed at me for an hour and a half while I was trying to fix this computer. It was driving me crazy. Um... And I knew that if I fed him, it wouldn't do anything. He would just eat two bites and then be like, okay, thanks. And then just come back five minutes later and do the same thing again. So it's just like. <sighs> drives me like legit crazy. Oops. That goes there.
Another thing I noticed with a lot of dub tech stuff is that they are very ambiguous on what... Take care, M. Hey, Danny Joe, how are you? Um, take care, M. Have a good night. Sorry I started so late. There's not much I could do, though. Um, so I guess this would be a good venue to mess with a bunch of delays. Um... Uh, pitch shift. Heck yeah. Take care, Finn. Okay, so what I want to do here is... Um, I don't want to kill the mix. I want to kill the feedback, like right here. I think that'll... Yeah, so what, what I want to happen is... Um, essentially, it's kind of like a riser. Um, uh, the bass needs to be a little punchier as well. Hey, Danny Joe, that's awesome. Yeah, this, this is going to be a little bit more of a bass heavy episode, so it's good timing on your part. Doesn't seem to be doing what I want. Oh, pitch envelope. There we go. So you can hear that it has a little bit of a pop now compared to with a nut. That's a little much. Basically, I just want to accentu accentuate that a little bit more. I could also, I realized, put like a square wave on here. That's a good idea. I always forget, like, and I've said this before, I should write down like all the things that I feel like are necessary to make a good song because I tend to forget during the process. It's like, oh yeah, compression's probably like really important. a little too much in the highs. I'm going to try to tamp that down a bit. A little too much. Okay, so the other thing we can do, and this is something that I accidentally did on another one of the uh, two-hour track challenges a couple weeks ago, is I can go into here and I can um, grab some random field recordings and use these as a sound bed for um, a resonator. And what the resonator will do is they'll give this kind of uh, moving texture in the background. So let's do that. Kitty purrs. Everybody likes kitty purrs. Wham. So I'll just go like that. 
that's not what I wanted. Warp. Loop. There we go. I'm trying to get better at keyboard shortcuts. <laughs> Okay, so we've got Kitty Purr there, but what we can do is we can go over here, get our resonator, and just get a basic chord here. C. Yeah, Kitty Purrs are the best. Hey, Koki Carey, how are you? Koe Carey, not Koki. <laughs> Koe Carey, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Let me get you some piano in just a second. I wanted to see if I can get this to work first. Isn't that cool? Yeah, so I'm going to take this, uh, Koei Carey, thank you so much for the follow. I'm not going to go to the same chord. I kind of did. Thank you so much for the follow, I really appreciate it. You know what, I haven't used the party lights in a while. There we go. You get the party lights. So anyway, I, I realized that I never really finished my uh, computer story. Um, so initially I thought it was the hard drive and it still may or may not be a hard drive issue. Um, but I have, I, I went to Micro Center, I got some thermal paste and I, um, I ripped off the heat sink for the CPU and I, I put new, hits, uh, new heat, uh, heat thermal paste on. And it seemed to do the trick, um, except for the, you're still on just chatting. You're just on chatting. Oh, thank you for that. Um, I should never change anything because I'll always forget to put it back. Oops, that's supposed to be. is that uh, legit dub tech is awesome um the one problem i have with dub tech is like there's two types of dub tech and they kind of sound the same. So I was listening to uh, like a dub tech playlist on Spotify and is just like a three hour long song that has uh, um, periodic changes, <laughs> which is fine. Like that's, that's like the perfect music for me to work to. Um, but I was like, Oh man, there is not a lot of variation in this genre.
why oh because this is also this also needs to get increased um i was like why isn't it doing what i wanted it to you gotta go like that too so now those little pops should be yeah and then just like completely pop it off at the end here that's too much um whoa i didn't know you could do that um so yeah i uh i i, I really do love the genre though um i mean that's that's literally what color jumper soundtrack is it's all it's like dub tech music um so <clears throat> it's uh it's definitely a my jam but it's uh it's def it's also definitely something where you got to be you got to be prepared for uh what you're getting into because it will um it will sound very repetitive uh after after a while but it's uh it's it's real good stuff i uh, i like it a lot Oops, what am I doing? I'm I'm messing with automation here because I know that yeah, okay, I did an extra measure there for no particular reason. Okay, so let's bring this down now. Remember to save. Hey everybody. Remember to save. You know, Sometimes you just got to save your work. I don't have a name for this song yet. Goopy pudding. PC issues seem to be fixed, yes. <laughs> yeah, I guess Madam Barry doesn't have the same issues us computer people do. Just rub it in. That was a weird. Uh, That's true. I guess you also don't have an undo button, so I, I guess there's that. <laughs> okay, so let's let's work on an intro for this. I know we're kind of we're kind of doing the speedrun edition of this song, um, but Dubtech comes together real fast, uh, <laughs> so. That's kind of cool. I was I was actually listening to a dub tech song today and it was in 74 and I was like that's why this sounds so weird it's, it was really cool um either it was in 74 or like the main uh harmonic stab was every 7 beats um and then the drums just kind of did their own thing in 44 four time either way like I kind of wanted to uh take that idea and put it into this too I just need to get to that point Uh, so. So if this was a traditional dub tech song, this would probably be like 45 seconds, but I don't, I don't got time for that. Um, <clears throat> 
I got I got better better fish to fry. I don't know. Auto filter. That's what I want. Zoop. do have the groove on this. Okay. So another thing that I want to do is I want to be like dub tech kind of lives and dies off of, uh, off of the quality of the percussion, percussion, percussion. So I want to add more layers to that too, but I just kind of have this this intro brewing first, and then we can. I'm I'm doing way more work than a dub tech song usually does, and I don't give a shit because this is a Ben song. And ben songs don't play by the rules, yo. Mostly just because I I I like to like set the palette, and then I just want to mess around with it. You know, I don't want to, you know. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like turn this into some crazy EDM stuff. It's just like I I love dub tech, but I feel like it's very limiting when it comes to its structure because it's literally the same like three or four bar loop for seven or eight minutes, and that's boring as hell. Um, so I just want to, I want to make something cool and that something cool is going to be inspired by genre I like, but it's not going to be defined by it. So take that mom. I kind of like that. Here we go. Okay, here we go. I can definitely push that out longer. Let's uh, let's do some some hat work. Yeah, so we need a name for this song. Um, something not dumb. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm really loving um, Valhalla delay. Um. Carbonic, go to your room. Mm -hmm. 
Bentec. Bentec sounds like um, an evil corporation from a Final Fantasy series. There you go. Okay, so we're gonna Okay, we're getting there. Get out of here. Should I really name it Ben Tech? No, I'm not going to. That's dumb. That's dumb and stupid and I hate it. Okay, so I do want to tighten this up a little bit, though. So we'll go like this. No. The, the word Benny will never be used in the context related to me. If I have any say in it. Dumb track names are pretty fun. You, you, do, you do make a good point there. But I want it to be a dumb track name that just doesn't have my name in it. Let's think of a dumb track name that's not related to me. You guys are just hell bent on uh No, Madam Barry. Ah. Uh. You're all getting in on it. Wubtech is closer. Balloon wave is pretty good. <laughs> Actually, heat sink is pretty good. Um, but that's more of a serious title. Balloon step. Balloon Rave. That's pretty good, too. Um, Okay, so um, there's a couple of things I want to do. First, I want to take this and I want to add some panning so I can create another hat track. Um, <clears throat> thermal pasta. <laughs> oh, God. I, I, I honestly don't know what I want to call this. I know that it's going to it's going to help define what the song is to some degree um but that's a start um again I want to go in here and I want to chop this down Okay. Um. All 
Um, let's add a little bit of wider wideness to this with a reverb, I think. Actually, just having a reverb on the less the left, since it's dub tech, uh, Yeti spaghetti. <laughs> Robot Yeti spaghetti. Well, part of part of me what I what part of me wants to do is I want to get like a short name for this so I can um, use the um, the vocalized uh, letters to like spell something out. So I can like have this going and then in the background, uh, where is one of those? Um... I know I have one in here somewhere. There it is. So I could be like C G N I C O B P G. So I could like have that in the background or something. Yeah, some pitched percussion is a really good idea. I like that. Um, so we'll just, uh, keep on going with this and, uh, oh man. Oh yeah. Tom's, uh, yeah. One thing I want to do is I want to, uh, I want to make sure that 909 Tom's are pretty good. I'll check that out. I just need to get my compression gloves on because my wrist is hurting again. Remember to save. I'll let everybody remember to save. Um, the other thing that bugs me about dub tech is there usually isn't a lead. And I'm not saying it needs to be like some crazy guitar solo, but. Everybody just wants to like go through the alphabet. <laughs> let's 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 do something stupid here. I see you pee. <laughs> no, we can't make that the name of this song. Oh no. Oh no. God damn it. Why do you do this to me, guys? Oh, media. Yep. No, exactly. It was going to be um, 2005. Oops. I see you pee. All uppercase. Um, so we got to go to instruments, drum rack. Um, actually, I don't need drum rack for this. I'll just use it this. Uh, and then I gotta go back to the I C U P <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. I C U P. The U and the P. Yeah. <laughs> so what I what I'm thinking is uh we can go like I C <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I C U P P 
feels like this is uh I there we go. <clears throat> C C C I'm gonna cut this a little bit just so it Um, and I'm going to set the delay on here so I can go like this. P. Two hour meme challenge. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care if it's dumb. This is my favorite type of music and I'm going to embrace it as much as I humanly can. Yes, this is this this song is actually a, a really important and deep message about the surveillance society that we have in America right now and how it's really invasive and kind of taking control of what we do and what we think. And, you know, if they wanted to, they could just watch us pee and they, we, they, that that's something that they could do. And I guess America would just roll over and be OK with it. You know, God. Yeah, it's out on the Internet now. Oh, this is so dumb. Oh, man. That's what makes it great. Uh, sends only. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I uh, I know I know what you're referring to now. I get that reference. I might actually want to put the compressor before the vocoder. There was another... Um, I can't remember what pack it was. I thought there was another time where I did all of the alphabet. Maybe not. Oh, it's the pizza wave one. C I Q W. I don't know if she would appreciate that. <laughs> A. Oh, maybe this is it. I C U P. <laughs> maybe. That's true. It probably does. <laughs> I 
Okay. I mean, this is basically going to be a pedal tone throughout the whole thing. Which is fine. <laughs> it's the new, well, duh, it's the new glassware from Apple. What are you talking about? It's $300. And it's just a it's just an empty glass thing that they got from Goodwill. That's not the tone that I want, though. That's really thin. Why is it so thin? Actually, I like the sine wave better. <laughs> well, hey, if, if Apple can invent the pencil again, I'm pretty sure they can invent a receptacle for holding liquids um, and, you know, people would love it. So let's go bananas with this delay. Uh, let's do a reverse pitch. No, that's not going to do a whole lot. Um, tape. Future feedback. Nope, not positive feedback. That will cause problems. Um It's pretty quiet. I put this in the wrong spot. <laughs> now you get the idea. Oh, excuse me. I really want to stretch this out more. We could go out to here, I think, with that reverb tail. I want to make it happen, guys. I want to have the most obnoxiously, obnoxiously long. Okay, that's good. It's the resonance is good. It's just the feedbacks need to just... Uh, Keep on hanging out. And go like this. Um, and then this one. Go like that. Hey, Forrest, how are you doing? <laughs> Sorry to hear that, man. Hope you're doing well, though.
Well, you you came at a, a good episode, I think. Doing bad. You're you're making things too complicated. That's okay. That's okay, Danny Joe. It's all good. I know how it goes. <laughs> uh, Forrest, it sounds like exactly what it is when you uh, say each letter separately. Remember to save. <laughs> Exactly. Um, yes. Remember to save everybody. Yeah, this is the best stream ever. my damn mind guys it's a little harsh in the high end I might actually run a filter through this a little bit that's better Um, I also think that I want to just do a real simple uh, reinforcement of the base. Uh, I think mostly just to get a little bit more high end. Uh, Garden Sound has been doing some videos where he puts like a redux on the base and I really like the sound. Um, just something real simple like uh, like this. Tuned perfectly. There we go. I agree. That's too much bit reduction. Yeah, and I mean, it's super easy to do. Like, you group this, you create a dry channel, and then you basically have a wet dry knob right here, but that's a pain and I hate it. Exactly. I used to have, like, uh, an instrument rack just all ready to go with that, but I think I lost it. Okay, so I need to get a clap sample in here. It's been a while since I used some of these. That's actually really good. Cause the thing with dub tech is you can kind of be shitty with the with the drums. Um and it still sounds good because it's just this wash of sound. And shitty is the wrong word, but. Mm -hmm. 
no, too much. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, and then um, I kind of want an 808 clap. Just like one 808 clap. Um, one thing that I like doing is, oh my God, where am I going? Kick, snare, clap. Uh, no. Uh, one thing I, I need to do more is um, do things like once every eight bars. Uh, because that's a fun way to create things that are interesting. Yeah, I saw that tweet, Carbonic. I hope so. be pretty cool if it did i mean it's like who did the did the quality testing on that design though it's like oops sorry expecting some chimes oh yeah i haven't put i haven't put any chimes in yet um Honestly, I don't know if chimes will work in this. <laughs> uh, God, I don't even have the chimes installed on my Ableton folders. Um, yeah, the the problem with that, Sam, is if they want to continue to... Um, exactly, the VFX guys who are going to be even like in super crunch mode for the next three or four months... Um, because they're like hell, they're gonna delay the actual release of the movie. Um, God, where is? I don't even know where my that sample pack is on this computer. Uh, shoot. Uh, media. Wind chime. Because I don't want to like re download it <laughs> from my own site. I thought. Yeah, the whole the whole Sonic thing is a real mess. I thought I put it in here, but I clearly didn't. Um, and I don't know where. Wind chime. Hey, there it is. Copy paste. Bazinga. Yeah, the 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 character of Sonic and there's been some really good like edits of some stills of the trailer where it's just like, "Hey, this actually looks good now." And it's like, "Why didn't they do this to begin with?" Instead of uh clearly not listening to anybody else or not asking anybody else for their opinion. Um, I'm kind of thinking the tiny... Yeah, it, they probably just took like some generic human figure and made it blue and furry. And they're just like, done. It's true, Sam, that you're not wrong. Um, but to be honest, like I am not a Sonic fan, but even I, when I saw that, I was like, oh, it's just, it's, it's a little too uncanny valley, I think. Where Sonic is like a cartoon character and, um, they, they, um, made him too human, I think. Uh, and...
I think that's part of the problem. Where he looks too much like a person. Honestly, I don't know what I'm talking about, so feel free to ignore me. Portions just look off, yeah. That's the that's the thing. And his eyes are like really scary and his teeth is like Doing it right. Everybody's is dancing and they're feeling it right. Uh oh, copyright strike. Um, yeah. Panda bears normal stuff. I haven't. I should though. Um, this clap needs to slap. I've heard of Animal Collective. I just don't know much about them. To be honest. And, like, that's on me. <laughs> I, uh... <clears throat> I, I know that they are a band that people like. I do like weird music. Let's get rid of this exciter track. I'm not going to use that. Um, let's use this as another Valhalla delay. So this, I, I, I have, I have an idea of what I want to do here. Um, oh yeah, I need to go like this. So feedback can go down and then way up and then down again. This might sound real bad. It goes down too fast. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Feedback is not doing what I expect. Which is kind of neat, but... Not really. I'm spending too much time futzing around with this, but... It also would help if I actually sent some audio to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dangly parts. I need a kill, kill switch for that, though. <laughs> oh, man. Um, 
Let's go like that. Let's also do it on the P. That kind of sucks. Um, I think I'm going to try something else. I can, I guess I can low pass it. Um, put low pass when it feeds back just to see what happens. Yeah. Now not enough gets through. I'll get there. I, I remember to save. Hey, everybody, remember to save. So the, the remember to saves are now like a reminder that 15 minutes have passed and you've got to get your ass in gear. So this is the point where it gets below 100% again. So I kind of want it to go like this. Something like that. Okay, we're getting there. Um, we also have to, yeah, yeah. Um, that's that's kind of that's kind of what I was thinking. This is kind of building up to a main a main section of some sort. Um, Uh, I want that to go a little bit longer, but it had some really cool upper harmonics that time, and I hope that that happens every time now. So, like I said, I'm totally going to stick with the just looping everything, except that's a complete lie. do is I actually want to resample this. Yeah. 
Get me some of that pee. There we go. <laughs> doesn't really sound like P anymore, but Carbonic doesn't uh Carbonic doesn't clip it when I do it on purpose. So I gotta try to pretend to not do it on purpose, even though I usually am. <laughs> Let's let's move away from this and let's get another um, thing similar to it, but not like it. Let's uh, let's grab massive for this one and see if we can just get uh, a different type of uh, a, a dub tech kind of chord stab. Um, because we got forty two minutes left. I think we're doing well. Um, honestly, kind of just stick with the super saw. Yeah, that should be good. Right. I need to remember how massive works though. Okay, let's uh, do another uh, kind of battery of effect reverbs here. Okay, so what I can do is I can uh, yeah, go like this. So we're affecting the decay of one envelope with another envelope. Oh, this song is dumb. I love it. Yeah, chorus isn't really what I'm looking for. Maybe it's flanger. Flanger. P. <laughs> yeah.
That's pretty good. Housang. Thank you so much for that follow. I really appreciate it. I'll get you a spot of piano in just one second. I wanted to toss another delay on here because you can never have too many delays in this song. Um, let's do another. No. Let's do a ghost delay. Windex bottle spraying on the beat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I really appreciate that follow, though, man. It uh, means a lot to me, and it always helps to have another person in the studio to help me figure my, my shit out. So, yeah. Piano time. Yeah, that's not a chord. Wow, my brain does not work anymore. Let me start over. <laughs> did not tell me about a cool piano trick. Oh, that's the wrong one. That was the wrong knob. <laughs> Sorry, I was like, I wanted to set the mix to 100%. E flat and A flat chord at the same time, they're inverted so the noises are as close as possible. Uh, just a second. Oh, you probably mean major. That? Flyo Motive. That's a cool name. Thank you so much for the follow. Here's a little bit of piano. That's the same chords as last time. Why can't I do that? Mob locomotive. But flies fly a motive. Oh, gotcha. I like it. My piano solos are not on point today. Anyway, thank you guys so much for the follows. I really appreciate that. If we like warp this out so it sounds really weird. Oops. Uh, grain size needs to be smaller though. Um, that's what I was looking for. Uh, we can take the flux and like mess with that, and then we could take the grain size. That's the volume. We don't want to mess with the volume. We want to mess with the flux. Eh, I don't know if this is going to work. 
Don't know until you try. Eh, not a fan. I like I like the actual like silence more than uh, more than that. Could use a water sound. Remember to say oh, it's been 15 minutes already. <laughs> oh, no. Um, water sound. Oh, I know just the sound, guys. I know just the sound. I'm going to search my uh, sample library for soup. Oh, don't want to leave that there. Oh, I don't have it anymore? Ah, oh, shoot. I had uh, a long, a long field recording of me making soup, and there was a um, a sound in it that sounded like somebody peeing. It would have been perfect. Oh, that's a bummer. Nope. Bathroom sample pack. Oh, man. Where would that sound be? I, it was somewhere. I really want to get that now because it sounded exactly like what you're talking about. Oh, that's such a bummer. That is definitely not it. Um... I mean, I can I can just go to a uh, uh, water uh, field recordings. There you go. Uh, this is uh, Micah pouring tea. Got to do a little bit of sound design on it to make it feel like it's filling up. I am going to transpose that down a little bit um, and probably change, not that much. Sounds like a fucking giant taking a piss. <laughs> oh, that might be too real. <laughs> that might be a little too real. <laughs> oh, shit. fix this one too. It should be like this. loud. I like the metal jangle from the... <clears throat> okay. Um, we need another ping pong delay here. 
because we want to enable ping pong delay on this guy now. I don't know if I like this. Now it helps. Can our lead just be like one sustained note? <laughs> uh, this would actually be better as an operator, I think. It's like, can our lead just be like, except not awful. <laughs> it's a little quiet. Something like that, something that just kind of grows and then stops. Uh, I think that might be kind of cool. That's our lead. Actually, not that bad. Nope, we've got to keep it that way. Oh, too loud. So the problem is when you release, oh, okay, you can change the release of the of the thing too. I was like, when you release the, um, take care for us. Thank you so much for hanging out. This was a lot of fun, or this has been. This continues to be a lot of fun. I have 25 minutes left and I only have two minutes a song. These songs are usually like nine minutes long. That's not gonna happen. Hey. Thank you so much for the resubscriptions access. I really appreciate that. 15 months. Uh, I think that's been the entirety of me being an affiliate on Twitch. So I really appreciate your support there. Um, as always, you do have access to the new emotes. I did change the emotes around. Um, so now we have, remember to save, we have uh, Ben Ross. And then we have Soapy uh, leading up the high tier uh, subscription. But remember to save. That's valuable for basically every stream. So I felt I felt that which that should be uh that should be for everybody. There you go. That and you have a, a cute little kitty next to your uh next to your icon now. Oops. 
<laughs> okay, so this is still very loud, um, and that's partially due to the fact that it is uh, a high pitch. And high resonance, too. Though that's a, that's a tough combination. That's pretty funny, Carbonic. stream there we go feels like something changes between these two sections and I can't place my finger on it. Doesn't it sound like something gets like cut off? Oh, duh, it's this. basically just want to duplicate this whole thing. <laughs> okay. I could listen to this jam for a very, very long time.
This is the best dub tech. actually kind of like this i accidentally put this on on this uh channel i was like why does that sound different and it actually sounds pretty good so i'm gonna roll with it it's a happy little accident you know how those go That's not true. Danny Joe, you're not an accident to me. Good night, though. Have a good night. This song is pretty much done. Go back to this. So I want to tone down this whole this this whole deal, really. Um, And really the best way to do that is with just with a utility, I guess, and just kind of drop the volume because uh, this thing is kind of getting in the way near the end of the song here.
Okay, the hats don't really work the way I want them to. That's weird. Oh, it's turned back off. I'm like, no, I want this to be on. On forever. There we go. And then we can do a little bit more automation at the end here. Go like that. Um, let's give it a little bit of juice in the middle there. Um, and then Kind of a lackluster ending, though. Um, let's get the let's get the echoes back in here. that um, and do a similar thing with this delay just kind of crank it up to the, I guess 85 or I was like 85 percent is not the max for a ping pong delay I apologize if this kind of blows out uh, volume I don't think it will Kind of want it to sit at that like near 100%. There we go. there so I can push that echo out a little bit more like to here I think get out of the way yeah something like that let's try this Okay, I think we're done. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good stuff. Um, okay, so I am going to play this all the way through. And uh, I'm going to turn on the mastering chain, but I don't know how much of that I'm going to need. It's not exactly rocket surgery here. I want to do more dub tech stuff in the future, though. This has been really fun. Sorry, I'm going to I'm going to play that section again. I just need to clear out the reverb. That's a little better. And just turn off the timer. We don't need that no more. What a quality song. I guess I know what color I'm going to make the visualizer this time. thing is like I could 100% make this into like a 10 minute long dub tech track um, but I don't, really don't want to I'd rather have it like this because I like songs that are fast and snappy and don't repeat themselves for 10 minutes sometimes listen to it on my actual speakers. Sounds good though. This tape sound has like a 
little bit too much machine noise for me. At first I thought the machine noise was nice, but it's kind of uh, a little much. Remember to save. That's a little better. Cool. We're good. We good. That is today's stream. Guys, this was a ton of fun. I'm really glad that we were able. It's like my life has a soundtrack now. Um, I'm glad we were able to make something. I'm super glad. I was listening to Dub Tech like all day and it was really getting me into the mood for this. And I kind of want to make more of this stuff. Um, this was this was a lot of fun. Um, I'm also glad that my computer didn't explode and I just saved it. So if it did right now. I wouldn't care because it was saved. Um, so, yeah, this was a ton of fun, and I had a ton of fun. And thank you so much for all your suggestions and feedback on this song. It got super weird, and um, I love it because of that. So uh, that is everything for me. However, if you wanted to support me and my music, you can bounce over to patreon.com slash ben underscore burns. And you're able to download this song right now. However, my bot isn't working. So, um, that should, if I spelled my name right. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Uh, if you wanted to download this song right now, you could go to patreon.com slash Ben patreon.com slash Ben underscore Burns, and you're able to download this and support my studio and all of the other creative things that I do. Um, this is, I think, like episode 180 of the two-hour track challenge, so you'll be able to get a bunch of other songs uh, along with this. Um, and Twitch is being a butt. Like, I was going to see if I could find somebody to raid, but it's like, oh, put in your security code. And then... Um, Remember this computer for 30 days. I just want to see who I'm following, dude. Um, yeah. So pay, playing Pokemon. Nobody is streaming right now. Oh, well. Anyway, uh, it's been fun. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it, as always. Um, I might be around this weekend. I'm not sure. It's been kind of, it's going to be kind of busy. So either way, have a good one. Take care. Love you all. Bye. Oh, yeah, there's still no outro music. Hello. It's the end of the stream. And you know what that means. You gotta go home. Home. <laughs> and get on with your day. Because I'm not around to distract you anymore. Goodbye, everybody. I'll see you later. <laughs>